For the next two weeks, we are in Jacksonville, Florida, and we'll probably head down to St. Augustine. Yeah. And hang out there. So I don't know how much we'll get to see uh, in each place, but we'll take you to both places. It'll be two weeks worth of videos. However you skin it. <laughs> yeah. But the skyline here is awesome. Yeah, it's very pretty downtown. Yeah. And neither one of us has ever been to Jacksonville, so it'll be all new to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you've been, let us know. Um, if not, let us know if it's new to you too. <laughs> we hope you enjoy hanging out with us in Jacksonville and St. Augustine. That's right. Over there, I don't know if you can see it, but that's the uh, stadium where the Jacksonville Jaguars play. Mm -hmm. And then over here behind us is a factory for Maxwell House coffee. And it smells phenomenal out Dude. there. <laughs> as soon as, I mean, we we're like maybe half, half a mile, mile parked from here. And as soon as we got out of the truck, well, it smelled like cookies to me at first. It smelled like baking Bake. sugar cookies. But then I was mm -hmm. like, hmm. And then as we got closer to the coffee factory, it got stronger. Yes, yeah, so you were like, it's got to be the coffee beans being yeah. roasted. So now that I know what I'm smelling for, it smells like coffee. It smells phenomenal. But it smells great. <laughs> I can just sit down here <laughs> in the, the shade. Air. Yeah, and just smell. <laughs> ah, coffee. I mean, Wait, yeah, just smell I it. have never been that close to a coffee factory yeah, me either. to be able to smell it. Jacksonville smells great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you get a chance to come to Jacksonville. It smells wonderful. Well, today we're headed out to Cumberland Island. Mm -hmm. It was about a, an hour drive yeah. from Jacksonville to get up here. And now we're going to be on a 45 minute ferry ride. Yeah. Hang out there all day. You got to bring your own food, your own drink. Yeah. There's nothing no, there. there's nothing out there. And I'm assuming there's no cell signal out there either. <laughs> we'll see. So we're going to jump on the ferry. We'll take you with us on the ferry and then we'll take you out to Cumberland Island and show you all the cool stuff that's out there. Yeah. All right. Well, we're off the boat now, as you can tell. And we are not on bicycles, <laughs> as you can probably tell also. <laughs> yeah, I was looking forward to, to the bikes and being able to ride around the island, but we got here and they are all rented out. Yeah. <sighs> The only way we could have got a bike is there's one boat that comes earlier than this one, but it leaves at 9.45. You have to be at your boat an hour prior to departure. Yeah. So we would have had to be here at 8.45. We're an hour drive from the boat, so which means we would have had to leave the RV at 7.45. Which means we would have had to get up at like crazy early. Like 7. Yeah. But anyway, it's uh, no big deal. Yeah. We don't have bikes. Um, we won't get to see as much, but it saved us no, 30, people, right? 30 bucks. So, yeah, so we will take you over to the ruins. Hopefully we'll see some wild horses and then we'll head over to the beach. All right. All right. Revolutionary war hero General Nathaniel Green's wife okay. originally purchased a lot of this land okay. and built a four story home on it. Home? Yeah. <laughs> Fortress? <laughs> Mansion? Then a century later, Thomas Carnegie and his wife 
come to the island, she falls in love with it. They uh-huh. buy majority of it over five years. They majority pur- of the island? Yeah. Okay. Over five years, they just start purchasing. They built their own home, their own mansion, uh-huh. which is now Dungeness. Ah, okay. It was called Dungeness. Yeah. So this is it? And then she became a widow at 40. Oh. He was a big wig in the uh, industries okay. back then. and uh, But she forged on without him. She became the first woman in the yacht club. Oh, nice. Fancy. She was a expert shooter. She like she oh. took care of herself. She didn't need no man. <laughs> <laughs> she read me all this before we got out here. And I remember zero of it. So she had to be the one tell the story because I didn't remember any of it. <laughs> They won't let you actually inside to walk through the building, but we can walk all the way around it. Uh, we already saw some horses over there, so we'll show you around mm-hmm. the rest of the ruins, and um, and we'll show you the horses. Okay. Well, behind us is a, a separate part of the the estate is a recreation building yes they had it going on out here it was as big as a, a house uh, yeah. it was bigger than most people's houses yeah it had a gun room it had its own doctor's office yes what else they have it had swimming billiards pool. yeah billiards, uh, room. billiards room swimming pool squash court and an apartment i would just live in there <laughs> it's like the man cave. Yeah. <laughs> you got a Ultimate gun, gun room, billiards room, <laughs> swimming pool, apartment. Like, geez. Um, why would you want to leave? Yeah. <laughs> why don't I even need to go into the regular house? This has got everything I need in it right already. You know, do they yeah. deliver beer to the island? No. Nah. We're all set. <laughs> <laughs> there is a cemetery sign behind us. There's a creepy path back that way. <laughs> and um, we're going to go see how creepy this cemetery is okay i was wrong i'm not let down you were not let down not at all let down. it's actually really cool a lot yeah. of the family lives out or is, lives out here a lot of the family is, is buried out here the um the housekeepers hostess and um just a lot of the family but one of the coolest things children and grandchildren of, of the, the yeah. grains yeah one of the coolest things that we had no idea is not on the website that we saw no. or published anywhere, but Henry Lee was buried out here for a hundred years. And you may be asking yourself, self, who's Henry Lee? Well, I'm about to tell you. Henry Lee is Robert E. Lee's father. And that's General Henry Lee. General Henry <laughs> Lee died here while he was vis- visiting. visiting and they buried him here because, I mean, you're on the island back then. There's not a lot of ways to get, get some remains right. back. So they buried him here. Uh, he was buried here for 100 years and then moved to Virginia. Uh, but it's just crazy. I, I had no idea. And they don't even say much about it. They don't no. even say much about this this uh, cemetery. No. Other than it's, it, it's here. It's the beaten path. back from the beach headed back to the dock it's uh, a little after three o'clock and the boat leaves at 4:45, which you have to be there 
4 30. 4 30 yeah for loading in. now it took us 25 minutes to walk from the dock to the house to the ruins yeah and it took us probably another 20 25 minutes to walk from the house to the beach yeah <laughs> so it's going to be close to about an hour walk back to the dock yeah and we're already tired because <laughs> we walked all the way out here yeah. so here's some tips uh tip number one almost nothing is very wheelchair accessible or friendly no but i noticed when you got off the ferry you could rent a beach wheelchair that had yeah. big wheels so you could um, do that it would probably take still a little bit of doing someone would have to push it through yeah. this rough terrain yeah you're still off-roading but it is possible but it wouldn't be very friendly yeah um still possible but um the other tip is bring your walking shoes okay. um, because um, even without the bikes, we still would have done a lot of walking because there's places that you can't go can't with the bikes. The bikes yeah. um, and actually, I think it was probably best that we didn't have bikes anyway because um, we would have been hopping off and on them so much. Yeah. It would have been crazy. Um, the last tip we will give you is um, don't miss your ferry. <laughs> um, like the we said, the there's yeah the last one leaves at 4:45 in the afternoon, and you know people camp out here, and so they don't do a um, a head count of how many people are supposed to be on the boat. Mm -mm. So if you're not on it, you're spending the night on Cumberland Island <laughs> and uh, catching the next ferry in the morning. <laughs> um, so um, just be prepared to be able to, because the if you're screwing around out here and you lose track of time. Yeah. Um, and you're like, oh crap, the ferry's leaving in 20 minutes, and you're a one hour walk away. Either you're gonna run and probably still not make it, um, and you'll probably yeah. just you'll probably just be tired and stuck. And we stayed only on the north side of the island. I mean, the south side of the yeah, island. Yeah, only on the south side of the island. 14 miles up from from the docks, which they it depends. It says, but it says two to four hours yeah hike is all the way up south is where the first north uh, yeah north my bad <laughs> the first um african-american church yes is yeah. which would have been cool to see but yeah i'm not walking there no and then there's a couple of other uh, pieces of ruins up there from what we've heard also yeah um if we had had bikes we may have attempted that but still that even on a bike yeah that's a, a long way bike ride to go a long way so um we're headed back we're going to stop recording because we have to walk slow while we're recording so we're going to stop recording so that we can walk faster and then get back to the ferry and get back home yay <laughs> today we are at the catty shack ranch no pun intended <laughs> because it's wild cats that's right about uh what about 20 miles north of jacksonville yeah 20 25 miles yeah so it wasn't bad but um so the caddy shack ranch is basically big cats uh and cats animals sanctuary yeah what, what, what normally would be wild cats yeah. but the cats that are here are either rescued from places who weren't taking care of them properly places that closed up yeah closed up there was a couple there's a couple that came from places that were damaged by hurricanes Thanks. zoos that had to temporarily close or yeah or, oh i saw a couple that were uh rehomed because of Irma. Yeah. And then the other way that they get cats here is by people who own them who are not supposed to own them. Privately owned, yeah. And have to uh, surrender those animals yeah. because they just either don't have the permits or they do have the permits and just can no longer take care of the animal.
It looks like one of the wild cats escaped. <laughs> oh man, it looks so ferocious. <laughs> Save your children. Mm. No. <laughs> it's a Halloween kitty. Uh huh. Hey, how'd you get out of your cage? How'd you get out? some tef technical difficulties today in filming yeah it seemed like everywhere I was at I didn't have the right angle mm -hmm. and they would do something really cool before I could record it or I hit the button and the button didn't go yeah. I'm not sure how the footage of this place is gonna be today <laughs> Me either. they all can't be winners folks <laughs> Hopefully you got something decent. I hope so. Good lord. <laughs> well, we're wrapping up Jacksonville mm -hmm. and um, we actually didn't do a lot in Jacksonville. <laughs> <laughs> we we yeah. did a lot around Jacksonville. Yes. The geographic location of Jacksonville is great because it's there's lots perfect. of cool stuff around here. Yeah. And actually there is there is more stuff to do in Jacksonville that we just didn't get to. Yeah. I mean, we were here for two weeks, but... Um, Man, coming from Savannah, we were just spent. Yeah. We spent several days just kind of catching back up. Yeah. Downtiming. Just chilling. Yeah. And um, we don't talk a, t a ton about where we stay, but I wanted to talk a little bit about this because we are staying on the Naval Air Station Jacksonville, mm -hmm. and um, it's it's way better than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was yeah. going to be this little small place, and the RV park is not huge. It's like 40 spots, so, but... Yeah. Um, but the base is huge. Yes, it is a very They big have base. the huge flight line where they do flights in and out of here, Navy flights mm -hmm. all the time. Um, the Navy Diver School is out here. This is the home, the birthplace the, yeah. of the, birthplace. the Blue Angels. Mm -hmm. They're over in Pensacola now. Um, we did see uh, a little bit of wildlife out here. There's like a nature trail and mm -hmm. we saw a gator, but we yeah. didn't get footage. Mm -hmm. um, it was out here one night and we came out and I didn't have any camera equipment with me, but ran back to the RV, came back. And gone. Gone. So. And he hasn't been back. <laughs> no, we've been out here every, almost every <laughs> night looking for the gator, but the gator has not returned. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we had a really great time in Jacksonville. We're headed to Daytona from here. Yep. So long trip. Our old stomping <laughs> ground. Yeah. That's more our But we haven't been territory. back there in a long time either. No. So um, really looking forward to getting back to Daytona, New Smyrna area. Um, and if nothing else, we just hang out on the beach. Heck yeah. If we yeah. run out of stuff, <laughs> run out of stuff to do. Um, yes. We got some very cool new stuff to show you once we get to Daytona. We got some stuff being mailed to my mom's house. Yes. That we're excited about getting and showing off to you. Using it's gonna be, and abusing an address yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> next week, St. Augustine, we saw some really cool stuff. So we're excited about showing you that in next week's video. So make sure you come back next Sunday to see that. And then after that, we'll be in Daytona. Um, and, the, and the spot we go into is our very first um, Thousand Trails. It's an Encore, Encore property. Yeah. We're going there. We've already got our site re reserved. And guess what? What? It's a back end spot. <gasps> Uh-oh. Dang. <laughs> I called, try to get it changed, but it's going to be a back-end spot. So yeah. um, be on the lookout for that because coming up, we are going to do um, some videos about our Thousand Trails experiences and where we're staying at and all that good stuff. So uh, we'll definitely talk about our first experiences mm -hmm. with Thousand Trails and how we like it or if we don't or, you know, tips and tricks and all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.